Do you live in a very small apartment but have way too much camera gear and want a better way to organize it that isn't a stack of Pelican cases in a tiny tucked away closet? Me too. So I'm gonna to attempt to take all that gear that's lying around this apartment just out of frame and put it into one central organized location. The dream. Like any good production, pre-production is everything. So it's time to use the camera department's favorite accessory. Tape. I'm eyeing a particular unit that has six drawers. So I'm going to measure out six drawers so I can be sure everything will fit before I build it. And if not, maybe I won't even bother and we'll just return it. Six drawers. Bodies, lenses, audio, memories and batteries, accessories, and other because we all need a junk drawer. First big win. Bodies and lenses have now been combined into one drawer. The main bottom drawer, the biggest drawer, but they all fit harmoniously. Yes! This is what you measure twice and purchase once. That's the phrase. I'm very pleased. As you can see, I've got more than just the bodies. We've got bodies and lenses in here. We've got all things audio here accessories, basically monitors and a couple other rigging parts here. All the batteries you could think of here. Memory and what will be SD cards and some miscellaneous GoPro stuff here. And then a bunch of the problem children that don't really have a place down here. I was expecting to have one less drawer. It takes me the longest amount of time to move the gear, longer than it does take me to move the actual furniture. So this should theoretically solve that. But we need to make sure things are protected if that's the case. Batteries, not so much. This drawer, very much. And that's where I thought foam might be a good option, like in your usual Pelican cases. However, I purchased these, which as you can see, are too small. They're not really gonna fit this whole drawer. They're for minifigures, like Warhammer and Legos. But I thought they'd work for this, and I don't think they will. The goal is to make it easier to access everything I need for a job. I don't have enough room for pelicans to be stacked on top of each other everywhere, nor do I have the money to make sure every kit is protected individually. So that's why I've gone with a classic. Tool chest! See, Dad, I was paying attention in the garage. I'm hoping I got you with the start at the ending trope along with an outfit change to really sell it. You know, Big Fish, Casino, Pan's Labyrinth, Memento, all those movies just dream of a payoff this good. That's sarcasm, these movies are very important to me. I know I'm not the first person to take this item and use it for a wildly different purpose of organization of something that's not drills, but I wanted to chronicle the building and the filling just so I have proof that it works for myself, mostly. It's arrived! My commitment to uploading in only 4K. I'm just, I'm really committed to the Ultra HD lifestyle. Success! The tool bench is done. Now I just have to hope that everything fits inside. Ooh, one last thing. That's how you know it's really done. All right, so it's a few days later. I actually had time to put things in the drawers after we had a very late into the night cabinet building session. And I skipped the part where I show you where all the things in the apartment were used to be messy. I'll show you how much space I've saved because the, the gear was in a lot of different spots all over the 19 by 12 living room space. I think it's best if we don't acknowledge that ever again. But we do acknowledge the very successful organization journey we've gone here and how good these drawers look now and a lot better than the buckets of gear that I had badly stashed away. Oh. Let's give it a look. Top drawer was supposed to be a drunk drawer. Did have a drunk drawer, but also focused with hard drives, GoPros, and accessories I actually use fairly often, not all the time, but fairly often. After that, the all important battery drawer. 
It's too many batteries, but they're all in one place with memory cards up here and readers as well. It's just nice to have them all in one place even though there are way too many. Third, party mode drawer. I mean, lights and accessories and mounting. Ninja V usually goes here. It's being used to record this video right now. So it usually lives in that location. And GoPro parts. I forgot GoPro parts because clearly I don't use them that much, but I have way too many of them. Next up is all important audio. This is something I never felt like I had the right spot for. The task cam is being used right now as well, but it lives in here. So if it's related to audio, it's in here. I didn't even know I was going to have this room for this drawer. It wasn't my original plans. By the time I had gotten to this point, everything that was in the blue taped ones had already ended up in previous drawers. So this became filters and accessories I don't use as often, but still don't want to get rid of. I did get rid of a lot during this process. And lastly, the all important. Wow. Three bodies, one, two, three. Fuji X-T3 is being used to film this top end angle right now, as well as all my lenses, adapter, drone section, and top power area. This is the important one. All this gear in one location makes it so easy for me to set things up and quickly get ready for a job. It's the inside of the 1510 Pelican case. So instead of having to worry about custom foam each time, I can just remove these dividers and make it work for whatever setup. The Ultra HD, I'm going to make that joke every opportunity I get, it's just too perfect for camera equipment, it was $209, and the only other thing I didn't already have is the bottom organizer, which was another $60. So that's $270 total to not have to tear this apartment apart every time I'd like to pack for a job. Seems reasonable. This does mean I should probably stop buying so much gear because I will no longer have a place to put it. There's a few empty slots in the bottom drawer, but I could just buy more tool chests. That'll solve it. I'm working on modifications to turn this into more of a functional shooting location, not just organization. But when those modifications are done and actually working, I'll make a separate video on that. Until then, I'm proud to present version one of the George Bench. Tool bench, tool chest. I like tool bench, but comment below what you think I should name this floating island of a storage solution. And here's like a crazy, just absolutely crazy stat for you to go out on this one. Of all the views this channel has in 2020, 96.9% .9 of them have come from people who are not subscribed to the channel. So consider subscribing. Let's get that stat to like 5%. And if we do, I'll make another video. If we don't, I'll make another video, but I'll be sad. So please do. With that, I'm off walking. <laughs>